let, let's just start off with a tweet you had yesterday because it's something I talk about a lot in Philadelphia. We talk about it in this show because they're an intriguing, interesting team. You tweeted yesterday, everyone is wrong about Jalen Hurts. What, what do you mean by that as the Eagles start to get some hype here for this 2022 season? My biggest thing is with Hurts, you know, he's a very effective player if you adjust for cost, right? So, you know, I know he's not, you know, a top, you know, let's say third of the league passer. Um, you know, the Eagles offense, you know, they they got better last year when they moved away from him throwing and to him running. Um, but at the same time, when you look like he was worth about two wins above replacement last year, he made, you know, uh, on the order of like a million dollars. And so you look at like value per dollar, it doesn't get much better than that league. And that being said, like, you know, there are real reasons the, the Eagles traded a first round pick this year so they could get one next year. Um, and there are you know, real issues in the quarterback marketplace where he's probably not going to be the Eagles' long-term answer quarterback. So, you know, when, you, when discussing this season and discussing, you know, their win total and, and odds, which, you know, they're one of the teams whose odds actually did shift significantly during the draft because of the A.J. Brown trade, I think it's important to ask the question, are the Eagles just going to use Hurts the way that they used him last year uh, and that's probably a, a recipe for winning. Or are they going to try to test him and see if he's actually a franchise quarterback and make him more of a passer? Because if that's the case, I think maybe their win total is a little bit generous. 